So I had an interesting little idea for today's one. I thought on the back of my success yesterday, you know, my golden luxury, who is such a good boy, I thought, why don't I actually just do a video shiny hunting something? So I came in here and I managed to get an Eevee outbreak, which I, I will say, first of all, if you've ever considered shiny hunting Eevee in this game, don't. Eevee is one of the most annoying little pieces of shit. I thought, yeah, what the hell I could do with an Eevee Lucian. I was thinking of going for Sylvie on this time. thought, yeah, sure, why not? I'll try and get a shiny Eevee. And I've actually managed to get it. It's it's not your usual kind of shiny Eevee. It's what I like to call the, the shiny Hisuian Eevee, where it's not actually an Eevee. It's another Shinx. I mean, uh, as a great man once said, we take those. Hey, do you want to meet your dad? Just drink this in for a second. In 24 hours. All right, let's catch it. And it's a male as well, just to like icing on the cake. Okay, it's been a bit stubborn. Listen, I know people like to try and get up my ass about always wanting a male Luxray, like- Oh, of course, why do you always want a male one? You're so sexist. Listen, I've got nothing against women. In fact, I love women. Sometimes a little bit too much. When I catch my Luxray, I want it to have that big, thick, juicy mane. The king lion mane that only the male ones get. It's not sexism, it's science. There we have it. That's technically two Simbas in one day. I now need to resave. Now let's go and get the Eevee. So the method for shiny hunting in this game, honestly, like shiny hunting has never been so easy. All you have to do, I mean, I see, I say all you have to do is find an outbreak. I've found two Shinxes so far. Neither of them have been in outbreaks, but outbreaks are definitely the easiest way to get shinies. What you basically do is there's kind of a process. I'll talk through it as I do it. So we have our Eevee outbreak here. I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to chuck down a smoke bomb and just sort of start catching them and just, doing whatever. Okay, they're all breaking out. What the hell is this? Back in the grass. So I think the way it works with Outbreaks is it spawns four of the Pokemon at a time. So you know when the Outbreak is coming to an end because you'll take one of them out or you'll catch one of them and then the fourth one won't spawn in. I think it's like it picks a random number between like 10 and 15. All right, still going. I don't think it especially matters what you do with them in terms of like whether you kill them or catch them or later bitch they run away only eevees do best you can see here we're down to two no more are spawning in we're done i have a bit of a personal issue with eevee right now because i've been doing this and i actually did find a shiny one but i, d I don't know what actually happened i found the shiny the fucking thing ran away later bitch because you know eevee don't do fighting but even though i had saved at the camp before I went and I then reset and went back to the exact same outbreak, the shiny wouldn't spawn. And that's weird because that's actually, that's how it's supposed to work. But the game just decided that on this specific occasion, I just, I just wanted to be bent over and pegged. Okay. So what we got to do here, you know, racking these up. So we have to, we didn't get the shiny that one. So we have to go back to Jube life. And when we go back and then we go to leave again, there's a chance that that same outbreak will still be there. So if we go to leave here and there's one of those mass outbreaks. Yep, so we still got it. So we go back. And now that we've come back, it's actually completely re-rolled the EVs that we're going to find. So we save again. Another important thing, you have to turn off auto-saving for this. Because I think if you end up accidentally finishing the outbreak, then the game just kind of saves itself. So yeah, you don't really want that to happen. So we then go back again and basically just do the same thing. Back in the grass, start throwing the balls. And this is pretty much the process. Yeah, no one ever said that shiny hunting was fun. <laughs> Dude, is this or it's hatching eggs? Take your pick. I'll take this over hatching a thousand eggs any day. Oh, well, I've been spotted. Yeah, 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 I'm leaving. So yeah, if there's ever been a game to get into shiny hunting, it's this one. It's never been this easy. Put it this way, if I can get three shinies in 24 hours without anyone giving them to me, then it can't be that hard. Okay, so we go back to tube life again. Let's leave again. Still there. Just keep repeating this until White Eevee shows up. Question is, what am I going to find first? Am I going to find the shiny Eevee or am I going to find another Shinx? Lads, what do we reckon? Place your bets in the comments right now. think we might be done with this one. Honestly, a lot of how tedious this ends up being depends on specifically which Pokemon you're trying to get. I'll say this. The first shiny that i got was magikarp magikarp is one of the nicest pokemon to do this for because they don't attack you and they don't run because the thing is i don't even really care if the pokemon's like actively running away from me while i'm trying to catch it it's just eevee that has this magical bullshit power to despawn herself magikarp doesn't do that he just swims away from you but they still will ultimately stick around until you either catch him or kill him really you want to be doing pokemon like that because then it's like in other cases if you try and do baby pokemon then like good luck you're trying to do like pichu i mean i don't know why you do pichu you're trying to do any of the 
baby Pokemon, like you're going to get the same thing that I'm getting now. If you do it with like big Pokemon, they're going to be really aggressive and they might have lower catch rates as well. So that one can be a bit of a pain in the ass. You want Chad Pokemon to do this with. Magikarp is a Chad Pokemon. I'm being told Yanma is a good one to do as well. Run away. Yep. And we're spent. Do it again. That's impressive. You ever do that? You ever pick up the tea and the coast is stuck to it? Sorcery, that is. Laventon must think I'm a right mentalist. Just doing shuttle runs between Jubilife and the camp. I'm just sitting there like, don't worry, Professor. I promise you there's a reason I'm doing this. Turn up 10 hours later with an Eevee that's a slightly different color. And he's just there shaking his head like... Was it worth it? Yes. Yes, it was. <gasps> You're really gonna spawn on him while I'm looking at him, wondering what the f he's doing? I mean, whatever it is, he looks like he's having a great time. So, anyway, shiny EV. Finally, I'm gonna catch this in a... I kind of want to catch this in a Feather Ball because I want to evolve this into Sylveon. So do I go Wing Ball? Oh, I'll get him in the Wing Ball. How about that? Got him. Ready? The rest of you can go. You can leave. I'm not interested. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the rest of you can f*** off. One authentic shiny Eevee. It's whatever that is. Lax. I knew that. There you have it. More shinies. And I've now demonstrated to you the method in which you can get them. So go forth and just just don't do Eevee. It's, it's not worth the hassle, honestly.